Hello lovely students, it's your favorite teacher, Miss H, and um, sometimes I like to do uh, my lessons on videos. It's just um, something different, and uh, yeah, there's, it just uh, makes it easier for me to teach different things. So I wanted to do a little video lesson for you all on characterization. Characterization. And um, as you can probably tell, that has a lot to do with uh, the characters in a book characterization the word character is actually in it and it has to do with the different characters in a book so um, the definition of characterization is how an author creates a character in their book so characterization is how an author creates a character in a book and there are two types of characterization two ways that an author can create a character and that is one um, direct characterization and indirect characterization. So there are two types of characterization, direct and indirect. And the difference uh, between the two uh, is pretty easy to figure out using context clues what the words mean. So direct characterization is when an author directly tells you the personality of a character. So direct characterization is when an author directly tells you the personality of a character. Uh, for example, if in our book, if the author wrote, um, Star is a smart, hardworking girl with a great personality. The, she's directly told us the personality of Star. Indirect characterization, it's not as easy. It's not as simple. It's when the author doesn't tell us the personality, the author shows us the personality. So the author won't directly tell us the personality, but the author shows us the personality. So instead of the author um, directly saying that Star is a great girl, the author might uh, show us Star's personality by talking about how she works really hard in school, or how she helps out her family, or how, um, you know, she wakes up early so she can make sure she's on time. Uh, these different ways the author shows us the character's personality. Um, so there are five different ways that an author can indirectly characterize a character in the book. Five different ways an author can indirectly characterize a character in the book. And um, when an author indirectly characterizes a character in a book, we have to steal their personality since it's not directly given to us. We have to steal, S-T-E-A-L, steal their personality because it's not directly given to us. So steal, S-T-E-A-L, is an acronym and it stands for speech, thoughts, effect on others, actions, and looks. So when an author indirectly characterizes a character, we have to steal their personality because it's not given to us. So we have to steal it. And we do that by focusing on their speech or how they talk, their thoughts, what they're thinking, their effect on others, how they make other people feel, their actions, the things they're doing, and their looks. What do they look like? What do they dress like? Um, so just for a little recap before we move on to the back of this page, um, characterization is how an author gives a character their personality in a book. There's two different types of characterization, indirect and direct. And direct is easy. The author directly tells us the personality. Indirect is harder. The author doesn't directly tell us. And we have to steal the personality. We have to steal the personality by paying attention to um, their speech, what they say, their thoughts, their effect on others, their action, and their looks. So flip over to the back of your page and let's practice this with Kenya. So remember, whenever we're trying to figure out um, how an author is indirectly characterizing a character, we're going to remember steal. We're going to try to steal their personality. Um, so let's focus on Kenya. Let's try to figure out what Kenya's personality is using steal, using the steal method. So first let's focus on um, how Kenya talks, her speech. So um, read that little quote from Kenya and then write down what do you think that tells us about her personality. Um, so Kenya says, old trick don't say, I wasn't even talking about you. Watch, we don't handle her tonight. So what does this tell you about Kenya's personality? 
Well, um, this tells me that she might be a little angry. She might be aggressive. She likes to fight because that's what she's saying. That's what she's saying in her speech. Um, so go ahead and write that under what does this tell you about her personality. Um, and then let's do one more together. Let's look at Kenya's thoughts. So Kenya, um, during this party that she goes to in the first chapter, all Kenya's thinking about is how much she hates Danasia and wants to fight her over this guy. So the fact that Kenya is just focusing on how she doesn't like someone and wants to fight, what does this tell you about her personality? What well, kind of tells us the same thing that her speech did, that she's angry, probably pretty aggressive, um, mean, and likes to fight. Okay, so remember, the author isn't directly telling us that Kenya's angry, mean, or likes to fight. The author is showing us that she's angry, aggressive, and likes to fight. Remember, the author isn't directly giving us the personality. We have to steal it because the author isn't um, directly telling us Kenya's personality. So we have to steal it. So go ahead and finish the rest of this worksheet. That is the steal method. Um, I hope you like the video. I like to make them sometimes. It just depends on how I'm feeling. And um, we will continue on using steal and figuring out how our characters are characterized. Okay, get to work.